Chapter 14, Unit 2, Life Around the Great Lake Section A2, Listen to the Dialogue Rotana, I heard you went to Semriep last week. Yes, that's right. How did you go? By boat. This time last Saturday I was on the Tonle Sap. Wow, how was it? It was perfect. The sun was reflected in the lake and near the edge I saw lots of people from the villages. What were they doing? They were working hard because this is the end of the wet and the start of the dry season and the whole area was recovering from the floods. Yes, that's a particularly important time of the year for the ordinary farmers here too. Was anyone fishing there? Oh yes, lots of people were fishing because around the Tonle Sap is a mixed fishing and farming area. How could you see so much from inside your boat? Well, I wasn't sitting inside. I got permission to sit on the roof. Was it comfortable there? Yes, and useful too, because I could see all around. Chapter 14, Unit 3. What rivers can do? Section A3. Listen to the information about our rivers. Our rivers and the Great Lake are beautiful, and one day they could become popular places for tourism. They might be able to help Cambodia become a rich country in other ways too. For example, in the wet season, the Great Lake becomes a sea in the middle of the country, with many different kinds of fish, possibly richer in fish than any other lake in the world. At the same time, when the rivers are high, they carry good soil, which is spread over a considerable area all around them. Then, in the dry season, the crops grow well in this rich soil. Rivers are essential for transport, because transport by river is cheaper than transport by road or air. The Mekong, of course, can be used by all the countries that are members of the Mekong River Commission. Cambodia became a member of the Commission's Joint Committee in 1995. Powerful rivers like the Mekong can also provide energy so that the electricity supply produced by them might be able to meet all our future demands. When these rivers are producing our future electricity supply, will there be lots of factories all along them? Well, there might be, because although rivers help us, we don't always help them. On the other hand, rivers themselves aren't always reliable. For example, the Mekong drops 19 million tons of soil on the bottom of the Great Lake each year, which makes it more shallow. This then causes more floods to spread over a wider area, and although the soil brought by these floods might be useful, the floods themselves can be harmful. When they kill farmers and animals and destroy houses, they can even be tragic. So, like destiny, rivers bring us a mixed bag of fortune, often good, but sometimes bad. <laughs>